Hello. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you want to curl up in my lap? You want to say hello to the vlog? Yeah? Say hello. Meow. Hello, friends, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma, and today I felt like making a vlog. So here I am making a vlog. So it is Thursday today, and I've got some planty chores to do. I have just just got a lot to do. So I thought I would bring you with me, make it a little bit more fun. We could chat along the way, and just have a grand old time. You know, just hang out, really. So first thing I want to do today is open some planty mail, not plant mail not plants, I'm trying to not buy plants at the minute. Um, <laughs> it's hard, but I'm trying. But it's a bit of planty equipment, maybe I could call it that. I saw this on like an Instagram ad the other day and I was like, hmm, I should try this. Just so I could test it out for all of you to see if this is something that you might like in your life. This is not sponsored in any way, I just, bought this because I thought it'd be fun to try. So let's open it up. So this is my package. I just got it on Amazon. Let's unbox it together. Oh my God, it's so small. Okay, so it is these two like pen size things and it's called Aquameter by Sus T. And basically, it's got these little indicators at the top here. And when it's blue, it's got enough water. And then when it's white, it doesn't have enough water. And you're supposed to like stick it into the plant up until like there, I think. Good for four to seven inch pots or 10 to 18 centimeters. So medium, small stuff, not terribly big. So let's find some plants and see if they've got enough water. So let's try you out on this Caladium. This is a red flash. And I don't have any of my Caladiums in Greg just because I haven't put them in yet. Um, something else I need to do eventually. But does it need water? We don't know. Like, just by sticking my finger in there probably does need water. Um, but let's see what this thinks. I mean, it hasn't turned blue or anything, so let's see what happens when I water it. You can see there's like a bit of blue rising where it's wet. So I think it's just like a wick. And so the fabric kind of looks wet when it's wet soil, but dry when it's dry soil, how about that? So I guess we'll see. I'll test it out for a little while and let you know what I think about them, like down the line. Could be great, could be terrible. If you wanna try them out for yourself, I'll link them in the description below, but I have to give you no guarantees that they will work how you want them to. <laughs> We're just trying something out here, but you can definitely see that it's getting blue in there. So it's pretty much entirely blue now. I mean, I should hope so. The plant's freaking wet. It's like all come out, drip in through to the drainage dish underneath. It's wet. We will see what happens with it. But good to try these things. You never know. It could be the next best thing. Like I do really like Greg still. Um, I'm, I'm still a big fan of them. And this isn't an ad for Greg or anything either. Um, but. We'll see what happens. So it is also watering day for me. Exciting. I get my Greg notifications telling me it's time to water all my stuff. Oh, got an update, that's fun. Okay, so I have 50 plants to water. Yeah, it's a lot of plants. So I'm just gonna go around and check them all and see what's up, see how they're doing. You know, just give them a good check. I'm gonna water. Let's watch me water. I'm gonna have some tea first, but let's watch me water. Yes, this is my Joe face mug. It's my favorite mug ever. 
because it's got Joe's face on it. I think I got it for him for like Christmas or his birthday or something a couple years back. If any of you watched The Office, it's a reference to that. We watched that together, so I thought it was funny. Um, we've also got my face as well, and we want to get one with Cleo's face on it. It's kind of lame, but I like them. And tea tastes better out of Joe's mug. Hello friends. These soothing, dulcet tones are brought to you by your favorite part-time YouTuber, the one, the only, mustard t-shirted, Joe of many talents. Are you gonna, uh, you know you can see yourself in the mirror. Right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi to my friends. Hey gang. everything in this room at this point um, I still have a few things to water in the office and downstairs but I have a couple things that I want to repot and stuff so I figured let's do that let's give that a go do some repotting and yeah, get the stuff done so there's a few things that I want to be doing right now. I want to join my two pink princesses into one pot, put it in pawn. Second, or maybe first, I don't know what order I'm gonna do this in. I want to repot this Alocasia Black Velvet. I don't think it's very happy in this. I'm gonna put it in pawn. Third, my monster Dubia Dubaya has outgrown its little moss thing that I did for it. And so I need to build another one. Got a plank. So I'm gonna do that. And that is also in pawn. Um, as you could probably tell, I'm a big fan of pawn at the minute. I just feel like it works really well. Like all of the allocations I've put into pawn have like succeeded very well. So like why wouldn't I just continue putting things in pawn? You know? So I'm just gonna keep putting stuff in pawn. Also, this alocasia, let me get most of the dirt off, but like it's still got its like plug wrapper around it and I think it's just quite unhappy about that. There's just so many bulbs. It's like not been focusing at all on its own growth. It's just been focusing on its freaking bulbs. This little mesh thing has got to go. So it has like no roots. Look at that. And like half of it's new bulbs. But I've also got a bunch of bulbs. I've dropped two on the floor as well. So that'll be good. I guess I'll just put those in my little shallow puddle. Let's just take all of these bulbs off. Let, let's let you focus on yourself. You're being so selfless right now. Focusing on everybody else, but you need to focus on yourself. When was the last time you did something for you? Okay, I'm just gonna give it a quick rinse and we will repot you into pond. So I've got my strainer, got my pond, got this little scoop, which is also from Lachusa because pond just sticks to my hands and I hate it. So I'm gonna scoop some into here so I can drain it. You know how it goes. all of the alocasias I've put in pawn have just like started doing so well and like my poly the difference in leaf size is insane between like before and after pawn because I had a bunch in LECA but I'm not very good at doing the like nutrition water or whatever fertilizer water so pawn is great because it's got the fertilizer built in this isn't sponsored I feel like I just use a lot of stuff and none of this is sponsored. This is just me making a video and sharing with you the things that I like. 
but I found just like pawn worked really well for them and I really like it so I'm gonna keep using it but build this guy up he's in his little pot and I'm gonna use this like the Ikea part of the cabinet for its water reservoir it's just easier that way I'll just rinse this out so it's clean and I'll use it as its little watering bit can go there and then you can go there and you'll just go back to your spot in the cabinet when I'm done with all this. So I just opened my little shallow puddle container and this is definitely ready to be potted up. Oh god, what type is this? Um, I think this might be a dragon scale and there's another one in here. This one feels kind of mushy. I don't know if it's gonna live. But I'm going to change out the water because it's a bit gross and then put those other ones in. And then I guess pot this up too. Got a little baby pot here for that. And the holes look a tiny bit big for Pawn. And I asked last time or in a different vlog about what people use to like fill the holes a lot of people said like window mesh but someone mentioned like this sort of plastic netting that comes like on your onions or like tangerines or whatever and so i'm just going to cut out a small piece of this stuff because like i had this from onions so why wouldn't i use it i literally need just like the smallest bit guy in pawn. Happy as could be. Let's do the pink princesses. So you're all clean. Let's do the same with the other one. Another thing I really like about pawn is that you don't have to like get every tiny bit of soil off of the roots like it's not going to be the end of the world if there is still some because it is kind of like an intermediate step between LECA and um, the soil so you're gonna live nicely together right we'll be friends also I'm gonna put them in some of the pots that I got for my birthday because I want to and just, I think it'll look cute in there I did it! And then that goes in there, and it's happy, and I can put some water in it. pause for lunch because it was lunch time so that happened but now it's time to tackle this monstera dubia dubia whatever basically it's just gotten too tall for its little pole that i made i kind of want to see if i can get it to like attach to something so then it can actually shingle properly and like what's the word just like grow bigger leaves you know what I mean, I just wanted to do better. It has done better since being in this little system I made, but it's grown out of it, I guess. So we're gonna craft something new. I have this piece of wood, it's just a bit of plywood. I am not gonna put sphagnum on it like I did here. I did that to test it out, but it, like the plant doesn't really stick to it at all which like I want it to actually like properly shingle and like grow bigger leaves. So I need it to like have more of a surface because it won't stick to this, to this sphagnum, I don't think. So we're gonna do something with this. And I was thinking like how, cause I don't want this to be in like the water pool cause it's just gonna rot, it's like plain wood. 
so I was thinking I could tape one of my Ikea like shelf things because it's like a square so it's got a nice flat edge. I could tape that to the bottom of the plank. I don't want it to be able to like move around too much because it'll be attached, right? So I'm gonna tape that to this. And then I was thinking, okay, like what sort of pot would I put it in or would I just put it straight in pond in here? Which I could do, but I think, I think I found a better solution. So when I did my window boxes, I had some of these and I realized that like they fit pretty perfectly in this. So I'm going to cut one of these out and use it as it's like nursery pot inside of this. So I'm gonna MacGyver this. Let's cut one of these out. Don't try this at home kids. This is harder than I expected. No! Just tore the pot all the way up. Good thing I've got more of these. Scissors are better than the knife. Don't use a knife to cut this. That like fits so perfectly. It's just like the right shape of rectangle, which I really like. And then I cut a piece of that like um, onion mesh so I could put some of the pawn at the bottom with that because those holes are a little bit too big. Okay, I've put a tiny layer of pawn at the bottom. Now I'm going to undo it from its previous situation and I'm gonna reuse like the rest of the pond that's in here because why not? It's reusable. Well, that worked. And this one, the wood was able to go in the pot because I like wrapped it with this like plastic bag. So it was all sealed. So it wasn't gonna get like moldy or anything, which worked really well actually. But now I need to cut you off of this. Yeah, so like that wasn't attached at all. And I, I can use this for something else. But it's got decent roots still. So let's put you in here at like the far side of it. So that is nicely in there. And now, take you out for a moment. Then I'm going to tape you to this. Okay. Nice and sturdily on here. And then this goes nicely. In there, with this, I'm going to like tape it on. So it's like that, cause like all of these small leaves, they're not going to shingle. So I'm gonna have to attach them. And so it doesn't really matter how I do that, I don't think. So I've just got like scotch tape, um, cello tape. I'm just going to tape them. Not taping the leaves, obviously. I'm just taping the stems down. Ta-da! Oh my God, it looks so tiny on this massive board, but it's going to grow and hopefully it'll shingle. So I'm actually pretty proud of that. Mrs. MacGyver here. And then all I gotta do is water it. And I'll water it so that the water goes to like halfway in this container, which is about a third of the way up from the bottom of the like nursery pot that I've <laughs> makeshiftly made. So yeah, that's the plan. So I probably should have rinsed the Lekka a little bit better because obviously it's cloudy and now I've got no way to take it out. But I guess it will be fine for now. It'll be fine. It's not gonna have any problems. 
I hope. <laughs> I will let you know if there are any problems that occur, but yeah, it, it seems pretty happy and like the silver in there is really good. And so I hope that really gets it to start shingling property, proper, property, properly, got property on the mind. But yeah, hopefully it starts shingling well. There we go, happy with that. So I'm glad that I got that done, my little repotting session, pond fest, if you wanna call it. Um, the only thing now is that I don't know where I'm going to put the Divya Dubaya. I don't really have much vertical space. Maybe I'll put it at the top of one of my shelves. I think I'm gonna have to because that's the place with the most vertical space and obviously I've got a massive plank that I need to fit in now. So let's see if I can do some rearranging and get it to fit in somewhere. Let's quickly get you out of the way. And then this is the plant that I need to move. I have the name of Crete. So look how perfectly that fits. It just like slots in that gap there and sits right there. And then I'm going to put the other plant, the silver and back in front of it. So I think I should need to be keeping a good eye on this water level. So for the first couple weeks, I will probably be checking it most days just to make sure it is sufficient and like at least up to the bottom of the nursery pot that I've made. But I think this worked really well. So this entire time, even through lunch, Cleo has been a sleepy little circle. Just doing a bit of sleeping. Oh, sorry to scare you, honey. Big yawn. Big stretch. Back to bed. <laughs> I was just tidying up and I was putting some Lekka away and Cleo thought that it was the sound of her food going into the bowl. And you're hungry, aren't you? You want the food. <laughs> yeah, you're telling me you want the food. You want that, don't you? Yeah, oh, sweetheart. It's nowhere near your time to get fed yet. You're gonna have to go back to having a nap. Let's show them your spin. Spin please, spin please, spin. <gasps> yes! Can you sit? Cleo, can you sit please? Sit please. Almost. Sit please. That's a spin, but okay. So that is what I've done so far today. Goodness, I feel like I've been so busy. I did so much. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to prepare for a video chat with one of my patrons, who, which is coming up at like 2.30 today. So that'll be good. Just gonna have a look at the questions she's asked me in like prepare for the chat. So I'm not just like doing research the entire time that we're on a video call, cause that doesn't make any sense. So. If you want to have a half an hour chat with me each month, that is one of the things that I offer over on my Patreon. Shameless plug. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Go have a look at it, because it is fun, and I do work really hard to like get stuff up there as well. So yeah, I'm just gonna prep for that, and then I will come back to you later. So I just finished my call and now I'm going to sit down and do some embroidery. Um, I've got to finish this because I've got to send it to Felicia. But this is what I'm making. I found this on Pinterest and I wanted to make it. So it's just a little kitty cat with oh, sitting in a plant. I think it kind of looks like a syngonium. I know it's not. It's probably more like a caladium, but yeah. But I need to go over an outline the cat again because it's supposed to be Apollo in the plants and yeah so I'm just going to do that now and 
watch some RuPaul's Drag Race while I do it. So I just finished it. Look how cute it is. That's a little Apollo there. But yes, very glad to have it done. I will send it out soon to her with some cat treats for Apollo because I owe her some cat treats. But yeah, so very excited to have finished this. I think it's super duper cute. Ah, I'm being attacked. So yeah, that is it. That is it for my daily vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Did a lot of good, fun, planty stuff, which is always really nice. And I love taking you all with me when I do it. So yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below and comment on other houseplant things you'd like me to talk about in the future and subscribe for more. Also, check out my Patreon. It's fun for everyone. So yeah. All right, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.